Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between William Steinitz and Celso Zapid. This amazing chess game was played in Havana in 1888. Steinitz had white pieces and he started with e4. Zapid played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, white to move. The top players of the time, like Zuckertot and Whitek, would quite often take on d5. Steinitz played e5, knight from f to d7, f4, c5, attacking white center. This move stood the test of time. This is the most played move in the database, even in the 21st century. White to move, knight to f3, is the most played move nowadays. Steinitz played d takes on c5. This move is less popular nowadays. It helps black bishop to get in a game with a tempo. Knight to f3, castling, bishop to d3, knight to c6, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps knight to a4 comes to mind, attacking the bishop, which is preventing castling. What else? Chess experts found after the game that bishop takes on h7 check, the Greek gift, would work too. Stanitz played this very interesting variation, starting with h4, intending knight to g5, but now f6 preventing knight to g5. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Did you find pawn takes pawn? This is not the move played in a game. Looks very natural, doesn't it? Steinitz played this amazing move. Knight to g5. F takes on g5. What else? Why did Steinitz sacrifice the knight? What is the follow-up? What would you do? Steinitz continued with bishop takes on h7 check, the second piece sacrifice. King takes on h7, h takes on g5, discover check, king to g8. If king goes to g6, then the queen to h5 check, and after king to f5, g4 check mate. Back to our game. King to g8, queen to h5, White is planning g6 and checkmate on h8. Knight on d takes on e5. So if the pawn is pushed, knight takes on g6. f takes on e5. Rook to f5, making the room for the king to escape. g4. Rook takes on e5, check, king to d1. Bishop to e3. In some variations intending, queen takes on g5. Bishop takes on e3, rook takes on e3. Zapid was ready for g6. This is now the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find this amazing killer move that Steinitz played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Are you ready to see this killer move? You will not believe that this was the killer move. Knight to b5. Do you believe this is a killer move or you have your doubts? Let's take it back. If g6, king to f8, queen to h8, check, king to e7, queen takes on g7, check, king to d6, the black king survived, and black has more material. Now let's take it back. Can white do better with rook to f1 check, then king to e7, and after queen to g5 check, king to e8, queen takes on e3, d4, forking the knight and the queen, after queen to f4, d takes on c3 check, and black is fighting back. Back to our game. Knight to b5. Rook to f3, preventing white from playing rook to f1. g6. King to f8. Queen to h8, check. King to e7. 
white play the move and black designed and the move is check black designed it is now obvious why Steinitz played knight to b5 black king can't escape play with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation king to e8 rook to h8 check rook to f8 rook takes rook check And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.